I've got the second rock. There's always another rock. It's in one of these menus here. There you go. Is little Thiefosaurus gonna come in and just yoink it right back out? And then I gotta chase him or something? I wonder what percentage of people find the rock first versus opening the eye first. Because, like, the action of opening the eye only contextually makes sense once it's like, oh, why isn't it working or whatever? And you're like, oh, one's glowing and one's not. But, like, at the time, I'm just like, you know, you go straight to the temple because that's your goal. And then you're like, why is this, why don't I have another gem? And you just kind of flail around and you just accidentally solve that puzzle because it's just the only thing in the room. I know I do a lot of the finding the lo the key before I find the lock, but I feel like that's like I think in this case I'm in the majority. <laughs> like who who would ever do the other one first? Okay, we don't need, we only have the cutscene to play every time. He's too short. Dom de dom. Hello. Why am I instantly in the water? Oh, because where I was standing, I was going to get my, be under the wall, so they had to teleport me to the middle of the room. Okay. Uh, this is not what I expected. <laughs> oh, how am I going to figure out how to push this button? Anyway, world state change, moving on completely. I'm sure we'll resolve that later still, but... Yeah, this is an unexpected outcome. Burn! Burn them for me. Ow! Oh. Hi. I guess that's it. I did it. Now I need to drain the water. And there we go. Okay. No, I don't need the cutscene every time, I swear. I, you, I have object permanence, it's cool. bit of an oopsie. There we go. All healed up. Ish. Not quite. Working on that. There we go. Ah, rude. <laughs> Little overkill? No regrets. More pointless scarabs that I can't do anything with. Not really sure how they thought this balance was going to work out, honestly. These are useless to me. I already have 15. Ah, I can feed him one. Oh, yeah, it's not in his menu, it's in the items menu. This gets pretty bloated eventually, doesn't it? Right, and every little pip of his thing costs one. So, you do need more. You're not feeding him one mushroom, but a multitude. Yeah. 
Are those like pillars of water? What am I looking at there? Dum de dum. I guess it is like the water temple or something, so. Might as well make that really literal. I care not for he who sprouts from water, or from ground. I choose it to not fucketh with you, bro. Bye. What was that? Oh, hey. Yeah, that's probably what I do with the thingy. Uh, boop, doop, boop. Okay, does my money have to be in this menu? Like, is that necessary? And I couldn't toggle PDA be a setting in the pause menu or something. Just saying, there's maybe a few too many things in this menu. <laughs> It didn't even go in! Come on. That's, un that's just not satisfying if it doesn't actually go in the slot. It just hovered over it. The fuck? Okay. I'm in. I didn't even check the front door. I guess it probably wasn't gonna open or something. Hello? Is there like a code? Like in mist? Itty bitty, and I can't pick it up. Apparently. There's something, There's something here! There's something here! Okay, you can just live here now. It'll make you stop talking. Probably is a code of how to proceed. Da -da -da -da. I think we're good. That was alright. Oh, he, he, he even he knows the puzzle's over because he just came over. <laughs> cool, it resets. Alright, this is a tricky stay. That's that's annoying. One, three, oh, yeah, it resets completely. One, three, four, one, two, three. One, three, four, one, two, three. All right, let's move on. Doubling back makes the whole thing reset, apparently. Okay, that's enough of you. You're in, this is annoying. Where's my kill you button? There we go. Ah, fuck. Okay, the camera, camera. There we go. The stupid blocking thing. <laughs> Done with that. Done with the whole thing where the, the mindless combat gets prolonged pointlessly by you blocking annoyingly. Nope. Just gonna freeze ya. What are you? Ah, it looks like we get that power in this one. The stick your staff in a door to open or whatever button. Which is very different from the other thing where I stick my staff in something to open it. It's very completely different. How could you confuse them with each other? It is funny because like the, f the first ability I got was sticking my staff in a hole in the wall to open something. But this one's a different one. It's super secret art. You probably like channel your energy through it like when I do the... Uh... Can I not go here? Is there legitimately like an invisible wall here? Okay. Uh, 
A bad guy. There it is. The thing I do. Now there's a green orb. Okay. What's... What does that do? Huh! The bad guy! <laughs> he just randomly shouts that the whole time we're here. Yes, Tricky. That's called the whole game. There's pretty much always bad guys. It's up there with when Catherine insists on saying, Edge! Every time you push a crate and it lock locks onto the edge of something, which is every time. That's just every action you take in that game. Edge, 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 edge. Starts sounding like a techno voice sample that's repeating. It's like, it's like the word go in Dance Dance Revolution. Oh yeah, well it's time to do this DDR mix, so it's gonna play at double speed and go, 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 go. That's just the entire soundtrack of DDR. It tripped me the hell out when I found the original version of Rhythm and Police. I'm like, oh, this is completely different. <laughs> Only know it from DDR, where it goes, go, 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 go. <sighs> what? That was an invisible wall again. This level just cheats. This level's just full of cheating, is what it does. Just there's obvious paths in front of you you could take, and the game in this level's like, what if no? Okay, not gonna lie, I just walked around in a weird chamber full of weird platforms and just activated three things, and I don't really know what I did. I'm not totally sure what I accomplished when I was doing that. Here I am. Does it come out the other side of green? Something I'm trying to do with that? I guess this this went away, so I can go this way. A bad guy. was actually on the right path. It was that kind of situation, but the other side of it. Yep. I don't know, I compulsively break stuff open to open it, and I guess it's, it's good for keeping my energy and health up, I guess. But I keep compulsively just kind of expecting something like, more useful to show up. Why are the enemies back? Like, you don't really get heart containers. It seems like you only get hearts from bosses. Or just from doing the four temples. And I'm, I'm capped out on money. There's no, like... There's no, like, bottles to find? Or any other kind of, like, collectible... progression item that's, like, handy. So this abundance of containers is mostly just a health refiller. Well, you can accuse them of undercommitting to the uh, water theme. Place is aggressively watery. Am I under attack? I sound under attack. Oh, hey, there he is. Why are you up, all the way up there? A bad guy! How do I get in there? There's another invisible wall. I just can't hop down. For reasons. Is that all that's up here? 
I saw this from downstairs. I thought it was one of those like thorn barriers you open with tricky. Is this entire direction pointless? Jump in the hole. Nope. Weird. I would never have climbed such a annoying long climb thing if all I was getting was a energy plant. That ends over here. That guy's just respawning over and over again. Don't know what's up with that. Chance to launch. There we go. Where are we? What are we doing? What are we accomplishing here? Where am I going? <laughs> huh. Let's see. I guess. I guess this room's a bit of an obstacle. Okay. We have a problem to solve. Uh, deep water. No way to jump across. Vortexes. Danger. If I fall in, I have to go back there. I also don't see how to get to either of those heights. Okay. Do I do something with this blue f lava? Not lava, fire. Um. Do I, oh, wait, 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 wait. Do I put out the fire? Remember this mechanic? Ne nope, neither does the game. Nope. <laughs> you don't put the fire out. That came from that door, right? I just have to go that way. Boop. What did I do? I made something go from up to down, somewhere. Uh, this direction seems to just dump me in the water, which usually goes badly for me. Don't see anything else to do, though. A dinosaur spot? Oh, yeah. Where was that? Oh, there it is. I don't actually know where I'm taking it, so let's just go back to wandering for a bit. What do you want from me? Is there a button in that direction? Mm, maybe I climb on it? It seems to take longer to push it sideways. Just push it from behind. Really? Really? It's 
So I open this thing. I open this thing up, but I can't go that way. What the heck do you want from me? I can't go backwards either. Because the drops. It just has a cube in this trapdoor. I don't know, there's like a socket here. Maybe it goes in that socket. It doesn't look like it would do anything, but I don't know what else to do. <laughs> it made a good sound. What does that mean? This is still toggled. But I've already been here from the other side. Oh yeah, what do you, what do, you do? Water level. Okay. Why did I put the box there? Why did it make a success sound when I put the box there? If all I had to do was toggle the water level. Did that power the water level being toggled? <laughs> Is that what happened? <laughs> I'm a little unclear on this. This dungeon feel like feels a little aimless and weird. Each room doesn't have like an, ob an obvious goal. Which is not the same thing as being obvious just in general. Like it's one thing to have a puzzle with a non-obvious solution. That's a, that's a puzzle. We usually want to have like an obvious goal, like you know, a solution, for, like a, like not, not the solution for the puzzle, but the the target of said puzzle, what you're trying to do in the puzzle. This one's this place just kind of generally feels strange. Oh god damn it. Can't I just stand in the middle of the room? Okay, let's start over. If you're wondering why this aiming looks really hard, it's because this is where it always wants to center. So here's me pressing down. Here's me letting go of down. So it's not just like scrolling around to aim like in a like Halo or whatever. It's not just continuous turning. I have to like find the sweet spot of where to point the thing I missed. God, I missed it. I ran out of magic. <sighs> okay, let's get stupid fucking plants. It's really hard to aim. Which usually doesn't matter because you usually not have any kind of time limit, but in this situation there is, which makes it a bit frustrating. Because apparently I have to hit all of them quickly. Oh god. This is bullying. <laughs> Climbing up this thing. Just to get a little bit of magic at a time. This was a choice that they made. That they should not have made. I get, I get a little spammy. Because I'm just trying to hit it quickly. There we go. It fast enough? It wasn't fast enough! Wait, why isn't it activating? I'm pretty sure I did it fast enough. I'm pretty sure they were all green for a moment there. What the fuck a doodle do? What? I mean, I can only look in one direction at a time, so it's hard to tell for sure, but I think I had them all lit up. Is the puzzle not to have them all lit up? Is there something else going on? Motherfucker. Alright.
Go away. Is there also like an order? Eventually I can get up on those platforms apparently because I keep seeing those, do those doors up there. There's four statues. And not a lot else to go on. You would think you would just light them all up quickly, especially since there's apparently a timed input and they deactivate. It just That just makes sense, right? This is not a tricky hole. A tricky hole. <sighs> Once more with feeling. Okay, did it? Yeah. Yeah. Good. They're all lit. Let me through. Eh. What the fuck? What else is there to do? What is the mechanic? What? All right. It's almost like I was like, yeah, these chambers kind of lack like any kind of obvious goal in the game. It's like, oh, I'll show you no obvious goal. And I'm like, that wasn't a dare. <laughs> I wasn't like hoping you'd do more of that. Dear God, I was not hoping you'd do more of that. <laughs> like, no, nah, I'll show you no goal. It's like, I, okay, what am I supposed to do in this room game? Yeah, it's, it's exactly. You don't know, do you? I'm like, yeah, that was what I was saying earlier. Yeah. It's like, I does this, do you think this is a win for you? <laughs> Help. Oh, hey. No? It's not a staff booster, it's something else. I thought I found a hope. There's this weird maze. Don't know what's up with that. Well, this doesn't... this isn't a good sign. <laughs> uh, yep. That's a bad sign. Uh, my powers are Sharp Claw, Ground Quake, Staff Booster, Fire Blast. These don't ring any bells as being a solution. I'm not finding any grapple spots. The places I can climb up seem to go nowhere. They keep putting these jellyfish in rooms, which is funny, because they put they spawn them really high in the air, and while they can go horizontally around, they don't seem to be able to go up and down very fast, so they just spin at me for a very long time before they attack me. I, uh... Yeah. Well, I guess, I, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Where I'll come, I'll come back when I've, like, found something. I currently am at a loss. <laughs> <laughs>